Ditto died. Dido. Uh, queen. Oh, Queen Beelzebub. The demon queen has taken the throne. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get a good lined up shot with my uh, spearman here, but I can still do some splash damage stuff, so that's going to be okay. Oh, we got a crit! General Postumus. Uh, fought bravely and should be recognized. Should we promote him or hold the celebration? Uh, we could promote him. It would give him and his unit 100 XP each or celebrations, which cost a crap ton of money. Um, it would give me a triumph, which is really nice, but no. This is not Bob. This is Bob's identical twin brother. Bob is not a general. Bob is a specific. Okay. Ooh, we're not known as the warrior. Nice. There we go. Alright, do that. He's a specific. It's Bob, but written backwards. He's the anti-Bob. The palindrome of Bobs. Yeah, okay, so this guy, he's still got the sleepy thing, even though I kind of did stuff. I guess I have to wake him. Interesting. Okay, that'll probably that'll probably catch me out at some point. I feel like if you if you've slept a unit, and then you go and you give them an order like attacking, it should probably wake them. I'm betting if I move the unit, um, then it, here if I undo, you're asleep. If I move you, yeah, now you're not asleep. But I think attacking should also lift that. That I think is a, a very minor, but UI bug. Um, I do want to heal you before you move out. Actually, I should promote more of these people. You are very close to a promotion here. Bonk. I got bonked. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, a Kiss for Lock will be playing Old World after me. Um, but there, she's having some technical issues. So I, I'm being told I should stream for a few extra minutes. Oh, no. I don't know what I'm ever going to do, you guys. It's just such a... Yeah, okay. That sounds, that sounds good. Let's do that. Uh, I don't like that I don't have enough vision over here. It is, I guess, because the Danes are on a hill. Actually, I don't know why I have vision of the Danish stronghold itself. Because there's lots of, like, grayed out area here. So there could be units that I don't know about. And there's actual true fog of war here. Okay, this is only... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll move here or there. Either way, I'm going to get vision. Okay, I'll move up to here. Staying a little further away from that. Okay, now these skirmishes here do have the ability to throw stuff. So ranged attacks are going to be coming our way. Let's move up back here because it's nice and safe. Still playing rock, which you can do even if you're at full fatigue. We'll attack here. So yeah, so we have a strength currently of 5 versus a 4. So you divide one by the other, so that's 1.25. Multiply it by 6, and that's how much damage you're going to do. Plus we do have the 10% chance of a crit. Which we didn't get. And apparently, so um, this was a question asked on Twitter that I didn't ask on Discord, which was answered by by my husband, Bob, uh, who says that um, uh, they don't keep track of decimal points, but if the attacking unit was stronger, then you round up the damage. If it was weaker, then you round it down. It's kind of an interesting way to do it. I still can't upgrade because this is the legendary status thing. You just promoted you, which is kind of okay. You don't currently have a general. Um... Uh, Right, my queen could take over, or we could look at assign her as a, as a as a governor somewhere, which we haven't really done. Now I don't have any real traits either. Kind of have crap courage. Feels like it's not a good fit. However, how about our sister? Our sister's not as pretty as us, you guys. She's probably really bitter about that, but we're the pretty one in the family. I'm just saying. Duchess Atia, my sister, the Highlander. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and. Actually, I probably should have assigned her over here. Yeah, okay, hold on. Let me not assign a general right now, because I don't think I have to be in friendly territory for it. Although, if I assign a general, it means they won't be able to attack this turn. Okay, just move up. Come back here. Uh, this is my city that can build good units. We do have some citizens that could be put down, though, for some pretty decent stuff. Actually, I kind of like the amount of units I currently have. Um, it might be worth getting the second level form. Now, you know what? Screw it. Let's actually, like, develop our stuff. Um, I don't know if I want the second specialist to also be a woodworker. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. No, actually, I might want my specialist to go into barracks in this city. Okay, let's do one, and then I'll queue up a forum, and then one other festival over here. It's going to be nice to have. <gasps> oh, Egypt. Oh, my God! Why do we keep getting this? 
Ooh, war. I don't want to go to war right now. All right, we'll just pay him off. Although, I'm betting the war will come at some point. <sighs> um, I could sell some stuff for money. I have a lot of iron. But I'm still at the loose, losing money. You know what? I'm just going to say we can't afford an education. What? My husband, Bob! What are you doing, Bob? Has been seen around the city with another member of the court. Rumors of love affairs spreading like wildfire. I mean, no. Bob would never do that to us. Never, ever do it to us. Pay no heed to unworthy gossip. He's becoming endeared. There we go. Uh, all right, I don't know what I'm doing with you yet. I don't remember. You over here, yes, we do want these, these barracks. I think we're going to start spamming them here. So, as far as I can tell, I don't think there's any difference. Ah, it must be adjacent to a city or at least two other urban tiles. Okay, I was wondering about that. Like, wait, why can I build it in some places and not others? But yes, um, if we take a look. Yeah, I think it's just fixed. You get the same maintenance and you get 20% more of the shields per year regardless. So then the question sort of becomes, are we concerned about overriding a tile that would be pretty good otherwise? Well, these arid terrain is bad for farms. Everything else is the same, because it's all flat, but these are lush. Or, they're temperate, actually. And this is arid. Which is only three food. And, as far as I can tell, the same for absolutely everything else. So, we'll put our barracks on the arid terrain. I'm still specializing in that city to be unit production in the long term. Uh, you built a road there. You're going to keep going and helping do the road thing. Um, and did over here. We're going to go up another tile. Road that. Um, what we need is farms and hamlets. Right. Oh, I don't have enough stone. I have to buy it. I mean, I make stone. I'm going to buy the, the, the stone to start building the hamlet. It's going to cost us 100 gold. We really don't have... The, mm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to do anything with this worker this turn. That we'll have an extra order to sell. So it's going to be worth an extra 9.1 gold. I know I spent the stone on, on roads. I may have done it in the opposite order. Although I want the roads too. But I don't think I want to buy stone right now. Why didn't you guys tell me to build more quarries? You're right. You know what? Actually, we are doing stupid amounts of iron. You're absolutely right. Let's go ahead and sell one stack of this. And then we'll have a bit more flexibility. <gasps> Camilla Julia the Warrior has gained experience. Mmm. Um, right, we still didn't actually assign ourselves anywhere. God. Well, we're going to have plus one wisdom. That plus one's going to be worth eight points. And yeah, I think I'm just going to put her as a governor in a city. Because, right, because we can do that. I keep thinking you're going to be a leader instead of anything else. Oh, you don't have, right, we don't have a garrison. We can't do governors right now. God damn. Hmm. Let's get some specialists happening. Um, a minor specialist over here will give us way more money per turn. Working in the uh, the silver mines, that sounds okay. This is not Bob. This is Bob's identical twin brother, Bob. Um, I don't know for military units. I'm not sure these make a difference. I don't know if I don't. These might scale linearly. But I'll give them the wisdom just in case. Yeah, it didn't give us any extra science, and I don't think the combat bonuses scale anything else. This is Bob, our husband. Not to be confused with Bob the General. Bob, our husband, walking along the gardens, openly pondering questions of life, mortality, and desire. One day, he asked if he may take lessons with one of the court philosophers. I mean, we'd do anything for Bob, right? $440 for plus one wisdom. He doesn't even have any wisdom, so it would just be a... 440 bucks for one beaker. Oh, but we'd be upsetting him. 
Giving you a bitch and collect all bobs. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, it's, it's Bob. We have to do anything he wants, right? Yeah, we can't have Bob be sad. 20 years of sadness. No. Nope. Done. I wonder, um, I think these faces, I think they're all, like, unique per nation. So we'll only ever see Bob if we're playing as Rome. Okay, we're, we're only playing as Rome from now on. Hope you guys are ready for that. Okay, completing these roads is still very important. A, a, it's good to have the cities be connected, and B, we have a specific ambition for it. So, I'm going to keep doing this. Um, hang on. Yeah, I, I want to add a general over here, but we kind of need to take some actions. I'm wondering if I should fall back with this unit. I mean, they're going to keep, like, producing some stuff here, but... Yeah, I'm going to fall back with this warrior into friendly territory. I'm just going to heal you this turn. But yeah, we'll probably give you some promotions and a general and things like that. Speaking of general... Yeah, I mean, I guess we may as well do the, uh, the, the general queen. Yeah, I'm going to lead from the front. This will be me. And... Wait, I think I selected the wrong person. Oh well. Uh, so I'm not leading from the front. I'm leading one of the slinger groups. My sister will lead from the front. Maybe she'll die. I'm still so happy that we're prettier. <laughs> it's such a petty thing! It's such a petty thing, but I'm so happy. Tetsudo? Testudo. Is this one of the characters from Akira? Testudo! Akira! Testudo! Sorry. It's the only thing I really remember from that anime. That and, like, the cool motorcycles. And the big weird blob. And the lasers from space. Okay, I remember a lot of that. I watched that thing when I was 13. Kanata! Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Tetsuo. Tetsuo, Kanata. Yeah, that's what it was. Is there someone named Akira? Was it Akira Protocol? Or was, like, Akira, like, a dude in a, in a jar that they save at some point? I don't remember. Um. Oh, yeah, no, we don't. We want, we want Julia to stay as a scientist, so that's going to be okay. All right, I guess I'm going to move you up over here, actually. Uh, oh, there's not a unit there. I'm going to move you up over here. Yes, I'm fine with this. And whack that. 12 damage! Oh, we do have 8 strength! Holy crap sticks. Yeah, hold on. We got to give you uh, a general and, and some stats and some promotions that give you, like, huge multipliers. Um, Bob's brother Bob. Just got... You know, what I just had a memory of um, in Ancients of Shield. They've got the like the one, the the one character who's like eight brothers or whatever. Um, I don't remember his name, but you know he's the, obsessed with the lanyards all the time. Great character, uh, horsebane aggressor. I mean, plus one discipline doesn't do. Uh, it, although again, I don't think it um, it scales. I think it's like a linear scaling, and the passive XP is pretty handy. Agent Conan, yeah, Patton Oswalt, but yeah, what's the first guy's the first name? Like Koenig, but. I don't know. Anyways, freaking hilarious. Um, boom, finish you off. I need to leave a unit parked here. I'm a little worried that he is not very healthy. I need a settler. Do I want to bring this unit back? Or do I just want to leave everyone sitting around over here? And just send a settler over, and then we can move on to the, the other Gaulish city. Although, no, I don't think... Okay, someone's flipped this, but we can probably still do that. I'm actually just wondering about leaving everyone here. And then... Maybe in Rome, because I think we have the highest growth there. Get another settler. Billy! Eric! Yes, that's right. I gotta rewatch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I never did finish the show. And it was very good. Okay, let me come back to you. Ooh! Eager citizens of Beneventum come forward, wishing to help support the city's defense. They have the will, they need direction. Uh, we could um, we could buy some stone. That would be fine. I mean, we can sell some more iron here. Although the price of iron drops every time you sell it. We're going to do another sale, just for some options. But we could get the walls for 40 stone or emergency training drills. You know what? I'm going to buy the stone. Now, you can't alt-click this. Hopefully, that is coming. Uh, we need 40 stone. So we'll go in... There, we got the 40 for now. Doesn't refresh. You gotta close it and reopen it. Again, early access. Clearly that'll be changed at some point. 
Yes, we'll get the walls. Sure, why not? I think I am going to go and buy the hamlet. Like, buy the stone for the hamlet. 80 bucks, and it'll be a good money investment long term. Plus, they grow over the ages, which is really handy. I might hold off on buying any more stone for a second here with my uh, my, my row ads. I'll still go here, because it's still going to work out, and I'm just going to wait. I don't even want me to build a mine there. Honestly, I could use some extra farm still. Um, yeah, there's some good farmland over here because it's all next to the river. Yeah, I'm going to move you all the way down here. We'll get you to help out. I think I might just leave this here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I, that's true. Idle workers could just go around chopping down some trees. We can always sell the wood. And Scrubs doesn't even take an action. Alright, end turn here? I think so. What's time at? 4 7. Let me check to see if a Kiss for Lux got our stream up. Oh, yes, she's, oh, she's starting a new game, and she might be playing as Grease? Oh, she went back to the placeholder screen. Hold on, what, what, guys, you don't mind if I take one more turn, do you? Um, uh, did it reset my goals? Or did we actually finish? Oh, no, no, right, we did that one, but we've got that. I think what we might do is we might grab administration, because it's quick and cheap, much like myself. I don't know. I'm actually pretty slow and pricey. Um, <laughs> hey, advertising for my side gig here. Uh, it'll give us the ability to do the treasure project, which can give us some cash money. Um, and uh, granaries can help us give more food because it boosts adjacent farms. Who dis? Fourth in line is my brother. They didn't even know he existed. Um, you know what? We need some more money. Study commerce. Maybe we'll put that to good use. I'm going to come over here. I will build another farm. There we go. Because the food consumption is going to change over time. I think I was moving you down here to do farming. But now I'm wondering, yeah, should we just do a little bit more tree cutting? Let me come back to you for, in a second. And you. Actually, hold on. Let me manually choose something here. Scooch up. Now, you don't have any special attacks, right? You ignore zones of control, and you can Testudo, which gives you bonus versus ranged. But I think this is just... Um... Okay, hold on. Now, so, okay, Testudo is worded exactly the same as Fortify. It doesn't say it on here, but I'm pretty sure you lose the Fortification bonus if you move. So I'm assuming Testudo is just a super formation versus ranged. We can't, like, do this and then move around and do stupid stuff. I'm assuming. I would like to promote you, but I kind of also want to kill the guy who's right in front of my face. Yeah, that's a shield wall, right. Oh, you know what? Yeah, right, we can undo. Okay, so if I hit this button, that did end his turn. We don't know yet if it would break if he moves, but I'm, I think so. You see this little bar? That's a fortification bar, the same as if we're standing still. So I'm willing to bet that's no good. All right, let's just smash this guy. I'll move here. Claim some rocks. I'd like to do promotions and general stuff, but it would end the move, so it's better right now, I think, to just do the attacks. Although we could do some promotions over here, which would be kind of nice. Here, let's give you combat. Hang on, come back to you there. Uh, this is the unit that I'm specifically leading, and you could be upgraded to an archer for red shields and wood. We're both, we're good on both. Yeah, I'm not, I mean, I need a fancy unit to lead. You need to heal a little bit more, so please, please to be doing that. Do a little scouting over here. Like, I got rid of my actual explorers, but you can go ahead and do this. Um... It's a weak-ass mine, but honestly, it's kind of a weak-ass everything tile. 
This is actually... We, we have a... Okay, that would be a, a plus eight mine over there, so it's slightly better. Um, hold on. Next to all the mountains and stuff? No. Oh. Really? How come the mine here is so good? Why is this a plus eight mine? Normally it gives you a breakdown. It's five per year. Does that have something to do with adjacency over here? Maybe each adjacent mine gives you a thingy? I don't know if they're volcanic eruptions. I can tell you that putting farms next to volcanoes is really good for food. Mines get adjacency from other mines. Okay. So that, that would be that then. To the best of my knowledge, roads don't give any bonuses to uh, whoops, to the tile they're on. Um, improvements. Oh, roads are not listed in here. Okay. There's no note about adjacency here either, though. They get their plus 60% from a hill. All improvements get adjacency bonuses. Wait, really? Any way to win the other nomination? Oh, yeah, there's two other victory conditions. You can finish 10 ambitions, or you can hit 31 points in score. And you get score for every city you've got, wonders you built, that sort of thing. Um, so you have built a road here. Yes, indeed. Um, yeah, there's some good improvements to build, but getting these connections is very important. Same thing here. And you're just going around chopping random trees down. Yeah, which we're going to keep doing. All right, cutting scrubs doesn't even take an order. Trees does, but it gives you more. Yeah, Cutting Scrubs is kind of a freebie. Let's promote you before we move out. Undo Mine, you can get plus 50 from Super Granny. Yeah, I mean, I guess this might actually be a pretty good Super Granary spot. Because it's all flat land. I don't know. You know what? No, I'm fine with the mine. You know why? Because mine's turn into swords. I mean, right now we've got tons of iron, but despite the truce, the queen is claiming that Roman agitators are causing unrest in Carthage. So, we could clean up our mess by sending them some money. You know what? I think we're done. Uh, this, uh, this love relationship between Rome and Carthage uh, that our father had, I think we're all going to agree that it was probably a mistake and instead we should um, delete... Carthage, Carthago, Delende, Est. Delete, control, alt, delete, Carthage. That's, that's, that's Latin. Ooh. Oh, we can get a great merchant or great minister. Uh, I don't know. It feels like what we need is someone like merchanty oriented. Did actually, did our money go, go down? Do we spend on courtiers? Hmm. There could be discontent issues as well. We do have a lot of units now. Let's, uh... Let's get the queen out here. Finish the job. This is... Hold on. No, right. I'm on here. Yes, that's me. Thump! Prisoners of war! And such great art. As they loot the Danes' camp, our soldiers free a group of terrified prisoners. These ragged men claim to be skilled laborers from a rival tribe, but our units suspect they are enemies posing a captive. What should you do? You must be prudent, execute the prisoners. Uh, it would upset the Danes. I mean, they did start a war. We'd become vigilant, which means if we assign ourselves to be a governor, plus 50% city defense... Or, they're laborers. They will labor for us. Plus one citizens. It would give us unrest, but I think I like the idea of this. Boom. Uh, 
We're going to upgrade to a Spearman. Have a bit of a variety of stuff. Plus, they look super cool like this. You are going to take a promotion level. You're going to keep snooping a boot over here. Okay, and then come back. Higher end units have more maintenance, don't they? Yes, they do. Just go in the city. I know it's not the right city, but just hang out over here and wait. We can always promote you later. More Danish cities. I don't know. I might park you in here. Guard that city site for us. Yeah, you guys chill over there. That's going to be fine. Um, you have some festivals. Do we just stack some more? We might just do that, actually, right now. Uh, actually, you could use a worker. And then we'll queue up a, a festival. There we go. That lines up well over there. Add road. Then what I'll do is I'll get you to come here, add road, so this can happen a little faster. Seems like a pretty good idea. Um, I haven't eliminated the Gauls. There's still a couple of Gaulish cities over there, but they're pretty far. Kiss for luck. Okay, her stream seems to be live. We have gone 20 minutes over, which sounds pretty great. We're going to go ahead and we're going to wrap up our stream here. We're going to raid a Kiss for luck, who's also playing Old World. And otherwise, next stream's on Saturday. I'm going to go out on limb here and suggest that we're probably going to be playing Old World. Probably. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks everyone who followed and subscribed and contributed to the Bread and Circuses Fund. Uh, and everyone who's been answering questions and asking cool questions about this that I can go and, you know, bug the devs on Discord. Um, including including the love of my life, uh, Bob. Over here, Bob, my husband. And, um, yeah, I'm going to see you guys. Uh, I can see you guys on Saturday. Let's go raise a kiss for luck. Give her lots and lots of love. And we'll see you in a few days. Boom, 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 boom. And, and stream. Okay, first of all, one of these little tribes that I was, I was friendly with everybody.